Alright, yeah, this is a PayPal from Joe Hans. Um, REM, or he said, uh, look up, look in the comments to see what the song's about. And I, I didn't actually see what it was, but I Googled it and it's about Agent Orange. I do know about Agent Orange. It's, uh, I didn't actually know what it was used for, though. No. I thought it was a weapon, but it's not. It was used to, um, what do they call it? The, what is it? How do they say it in that? But anyway, basically to kind of remove, clear the forest, basically, of branches, well, bushes and shit. Um, yeah, I think that's what it was anyway. But yeah, I do know about Agent Orange because a rapper, R.A. the Ruggy Man, his dad was in Vietnam and all of his family was... He's the only one of his brothers and sisters. I think a, a couple of his brothers and sisters died pretty quick after being born. Um, his other brother, I think, is in a wheelchair, and he's the only one that kind of like got out, got away with it, kind of scot free, kind of. But um, yeah, Michael Stipe's dad was also in Vietnam. But I think this is about. Well, yeah, it's about Agent Orange, but also about how... Because that's one of the wars where the actual soldiers that come back were... Do you know what I mean? Like, spat on in the streets and stuff. But, yeah. Um, yeah, R.E.M. Orange Crush. Let's go.
Hmm, I wonder if they was an influence on Rush's Red Sector A in a music sense. Because it was quite a, uh, it wasn't a, a kind of bit like Red Sector A. It's not, it's not, a, it's not musically what you'd think when you know the subject of the song, both of them. And they're both a kind of dancey a bit. But yeah, we have to do a lyrics one to this because, yeah, there was a couple of, because of the singing, like, different things over each other, there was, like, bits where I didn't catch lines. So, yeah, maybe a lyrics, but good tune. And, again, hearing them younger, mind you, I don't know when this, does it say a date? Yeah, but you can hear there's a, like... There's a bit more, how do you, like, it's a bit more, their sound's a bit more honed, and a bit more crafted, but like I say, the early days, they really just sound like a, they sound like a band, like a proper band, where, like, I mean, like, do you know what I mean, yeah, but now, like, you can hear their sound becoming a lot more, yeah, honed, I'd say, and a lot more, um, what's the word? Uh, tidy. But still kind of got that whole vibe of, they, they've not really moved away drastically from their sound. Like I say, it, it is their sound, but just, the yeah, polished. But yeah, good tune though, good tune. But like I say, we have to do a lyrics video. Because yeah, there was a one line that I really wanted to catch. That it was like the the line where he says um, something about it. I've had my fun. Yeah, something. It was that line that right. Like, it was the next bit where it was like a kind of collision of voices and I just didn't pick, I missed that last bit of that line. And that, yeah, that's when I thought we've got to do the lyrics to this. But yeah, nah, that is a tune though. It is a tune. But yeah, that's the reactions.